How's it going everyone? It's Max Fisher here from A Better Universe and it's another Motivation Monday. We're on day 50 guys. That means we only got 10 days left to make it or break it. I know we're all striving, we're all trying to get our goals, we're all moving towards that higher purpose, but uh, sometimes if you've fallen too far behind, 10 days isn't enough to bring it back around. But you gotta remember on the back side of this, we're gonna, you know, this isn't a, um, a process that just stops after this 60 day challenge. And for some of you, I'm sure, you know, you know, you've killed it so far up to this point that maybe you're taking these 10 days and already getting after what you're gonna try and accomplish in this ne next month challenge. So, with all that said, I just wanna talk to you guys today about belief. You guys have to truly and utterly believe it without any discrepancy in your mind about what's gonna happen for you and that's really the only true way whether you believe that you know whether you believe uh, psycho cybernetics kind of uh, philosophy where you know everything's fe fed through your subconscious mind and your self-limiting beliefs and that's what eventually gives you uh, your reality or if you actually if you believe in law of attraction where um, your energies are actually output into the world and uh, your subconscious mind and the universe uh, aren't necessarily um, taking sides in what they produce for you. So, if you don't truly believe something, like, if I told you I believe the sun's gonna come up tomorrow, you'd probably kind of look at me and be like, well, yeah, I mean, I believe it's gonna come up, but I also know it's gonna come up. You know, there's not really a question in your mind. Some people say they believe in, in God or Jesus or, um, you know, whatever, but they don't have the experience to back it up, so that's why they have to make it a belief. Because um, if, if you believe in something, you don't see it as a reality. You see it as a potential reality, but uh, it's just based on best guesses, and um, that's really about it. So if you're using whether law of attraction or uh, trying to change your subconscious mind or your, you know, Inert, uh, initial thinking process so that you can manifest the things that you truly want. You can't believe it. You have to know it. Now, I know there's a certain amount of work that needs to go into all of this, and I know there's, but it's, I know it's undeniable that what I'm chasing after will be given to me at some point as long as I just don't stop going. As long as I just put in the work, as long as I just keep going every single day, there's no way it can be denied from me because I have a strong sense of where I want to go and I have a, not only a belief but a deep-seated knowing that it, this is going to happen for me. I've seen, now how do you build, so how do you build this knowing belief? How do you build something that, you know, transcends belief and goes into like understanding knowledge, something practical, something real that you can, that you can, uh, that you can use to restructure your brain? So. For me, it was a lot of logic, a lot of people showing and telling me their stories, a lot of listening to others, a lot of you know studying successful people, studying things, you know, the formulas. So for me, I understand now that the formula for success does come with a lot of hard work. But if you don't give up on that hard work, if you just keep pursuing it, if you just get after it every single day and give nothing away, it might take you a year, it might take you six years, it might take you two decades to realize and achieve your dream, but if you don't stop, there's nothing that can't be denied from you. So even in the pursuit of enlightenment or uh, you know some of these extreme calisthenic moves that only uh, if someone 5'10 or 5'12 or I don't know, whatever, six foot, I thought no such thing as 5'12, anyways, ever have completed there's you know or very few have you know one percent of the world there's no reason why you have to believe that it can't be you you have to know deep-seatedly in in your heart in your soul in your intuition your mind logically you have to know it in all these places because they all have a certain amount of energy that is going to guide you towards that path so the more aware you become um, the more in tune you become the more uh, knowledgeable and understanding you become, the um, easier it is to gain that knowledge, to gain that perspective, to know it's possible, to hear enough stories and experiences that helps restructure your mind. You've been fed negative beliefs all your life. 
the only way to change them is through repetition intensity and um, it was repetition intensity and uh, and uh, authority the uh, person of authority that I was talking to the, the amount of respect that you have for them um, so those were the three things that uh, started your self-limiting beliefs and that you also have to you know use to change around keep that in mind those are uh, that's a good tool that's how you change a belief into a knowing you can, you believe you can come become successful but if you don't know how to then it's then it does make it a little harder you know you you believe it's possible but if you don't know it's possible then you probably don't have a the better understanding of it and that's really all it takes to go from belief to knowing is having a greater understanding you know all right so that's all I got for you guys today it's uh, day 50 I want you guys to believe in your goals and believe in these last 10 days believe you can accomplish whatever you want believe that after these 10 days you're gonna still get after it and keep on keep it on it's day 50 guys this is Max Fisher here from your from a better universe your mind body spirit connection I hope to see you on Workout Wednesday. We're going to get after it. All right, catch you later.